Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number one and the name of our chapter is Characteristics and Life Processes of Organisms. Today I will deliver its 11th lecture and the lecture is about diversity of life. Ki kaise jo hai, life jo hai, wo bohat sari different forms mein exist karti hai. So my dear students, let's start the lecture with the recap. So I will ask a few questions, listen to them very carefully, pause the video and then answer. Quickly look at the pictures. So now tell me that what are differences among flowering and non-flowering plants? Very good. Flowering plants have flowers on them. Non-flowering plants do not have flowers on them. Uh, flowering plants have, uh, uh, have seeds for reproduction. Non-flowering plants do not have seeds. They have spores or when they have seeds, they are naked seeds. So these are some of the difference between flowering and non-flowering plants. Okay, my dear students, now let's move forward towards an activity. So for activity, look at the pictures very carefully. Here you can see life forms in yani ki both are living things, fishes and bears, trees, all are living, but they are different from each other. The fish, they can survive under the water, whereas the bears, they live in the jungle. So this is how the life exists in different forms. Sub living hai, sub move karte hai, sab ko energy chahiye, but they are different from each other. Yehi jo difference hai, ye inko diverse karta hai, inko variety banata hai. Diversity ka matlab hai variety. So my dear students, what is diversity in life? That living things are different from each other. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is the interaction between the animals, their surroundings and with, between one another, between different animals. Unke dharmiyan mein bhi to interaction hota hai. So this interaction basically is called an ecosystem. So what is, an ha what is a habitat? Habitat is a home of, natural home of plants and animals. Very good, my dear students. So this is it. Now let's move forward towards today's student learning outcome. By the end of today's lecture, all the students will be able to recognize that, recognize and appreciate diversity in life, both plants and animals, and identify ways to protect diversity. So, my dear students, how say life plants jo hai or animals ek se different hai. Phir plants plants se different hai. Isi tarah animals, animals se different hai. So this is called diversity and we will study about that today. Okay, my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. So, and there is no creature on the earth or bird that flies with its wings except communities like you. So my dear students, jitne bhi creatures hai dunya ke andar, wo jo bhi karte hai, jitni bhi variety hai unke andar, kuch urte hai, kuch pet ke bal ringte hai, कुछ जो है वो तैरते हैं सो ये वैरायटी जो है तमाम ये अल्लाह ताला ने बनाई है और ये जितने भी जानवर हैं ये अपने आप पर कुदरत नहीं रखते कुछ भी करने के ये सब जो है अल्लाह ताला की मर्जी से करते हैं नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टुवर्ड्स द प्री रीडिंग क्वेश्चन क्विकली लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर हाउ डिफरेंट वैरायटीज ऑफ लाइफ इंटरडिपेंडेंट लाइक प्लांट्स डिपेंड ऑन प्लांट्स एनिमल्स डिपेंड ऑन प्लांट्स uh, different animals depend for food on different animals and even human beings we depend on plants why because um, uh, we get oxygen from plants we get food from them so this is how we depend on uh, each other and this is called interdependence okay my dear students now is the time for reading quickly open the page in your science for five uh, science four books that is page number 13 let's start the reading diversity in life diversity in life why do scientists need to classify animals and plants? Are they the only animals and plants we see around? A big no. There are more than 2 million known species of animals, plants and microorganisms. To your interest, every species is different and features from rest. Just look at the following pictures. So my dear students, plants or animals jo hai, ek se zada different hai. और इनको properly study करने के लिए इनको groups के अंदर classify कर दिया जाता है इनकी grouping कर दी जाती है जिससे हम इनको easily study कर सकते हैं plants भी जो है they are of different varieties इसी तरह animals जो है वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा variety के हैं 
टू मिलियन से ज्यादा जो है वो स्पीशीज जो है वो इस दुनिया में एग्जिस्ट करती हैं जिनको अभी तक हमने फाइंड आउट किया है सो ऑल आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर इन ऑल इन डिफरेंट फीचर्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द रीडिंग अगेन ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन सिमिलरली अजाज There are 38 species of cats even a single cat species has many breeds with distinctive characters so my dear students agar aap ek billi ki baat kare to ek billi ki hi jo hai wo 38 species hai aur inki breeding different hai kuch ke baal bahut bade hote hain kuch ke baal kisi kisi ki aankhein neeli hoti hain so these are uh, different from each other so within one species aap dekhe ki kitni zyada variation aa jati hai now if we will talk about plants so jasmine plant the similarly jasmine plant exist in about 200 species each with unique characters such an extensive number of living organisms make this world biologically diverse so my dear students ek phool jasmine jo hai uski jo hai wo itni zyada variety hai ki ye plant jo hai ye 200 mukhtalif tarah se exist karta hai किसी का कलर डिफरेंट होता है किसी की फ्रेग्रेंस किसी का इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर डिफरेंट है हैबिटेट डिफरेंट है सो दैट इज हाउ दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर विद इन वन स्पीशी आप देखें कि कितनी ज्यादा वैरायटी है और इसी वैरायटी की वजह से ये दुनिया जो है इट इज बायोलॉजिकली डाइवर्स बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज एसेंशियल फॉर द सस्टेनेंस ऑफ लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ द रीजन इज एवरी स्पीशी परफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक रोल इन द इको इट कंज्यूम्स एंड स्टोर एनर्जी many other organisms depend upon it for food shelter etc the extinction of single species disturbs the whole food chain so my dear students here the diversity hai ye bahut important hai earth pe life sustain karne ke liye kyunki har jo species hai har jo organism hai wo ek specific function jo hai wo perform kar raha hai ecosystem ke andar aur agar kisi ek cheez ko bhi aap disturb karenge ya usko khatam kar denge to pura ecosystem jo hai wo disturb ho jayega <coughs> many plants and animals become a reservoir of raw materials for industry medicine cosmetics perfumery resins chemicals fibers food such as fisheries forest livestock etc hence biodiversity supports industry and the economy so for human beings ye hamari industry aur hamari economy ke liye bhi bahut zyada important hai okay my dear students now let's quickly move forward towards diversity in life is the rich variety of life on earth there's variety in genes variety of species and variety of ecosystem everything is interconnected or interdependent on everything else so my dear students if we will have a look biodiversity species and ecosystem jab combine ho jate hain then they create the biodiversity okay my dear students so scientists group living things into distinctive species like cats dogs jasmine plant and every single species has breed With different characteristics. So even आप एक bird को ही अगर आप देख लें तो इसकी beak, इसका color, इसके feathers, इसका habitat, they all are different from one another. So इसी वजह से they vary. इनकी इतनी ज्यादा variety है Next is species of cat and breed of single cat species. You can see that they are of different types. विदिन वन एक एनिमल के अंदर ही अगर आप देखें तो कितनी ज्यादा स्पीशीज के अंदर ये एग्जिस्ट करते हैं और इनके फीचर्स एक दूसरे से बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंट है यहां पर भी आप देख सकते हैं कि कैट्स जो है दे आर ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड एंड टाइप्स ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ जैजमिन यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज जैजमिन फ्लॉर लेकिन आप ये देखें कि ये एक डिफरेंट टाइप्स के फ्लॉर्स जो है ये एग्जिस्ट करते हैं जैजमिन में ही और इनके स्ट्रक्चर इनके कलर जो है इनके हैबिटैट्स जो है दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वन एन अदर ओके देन कम्स द इंटरडिपेंडेंस ऑफ स्पीशीज स्पीशीज जो है ये एक दूसरे के ऊपर डिपेंड करती हैं एक इको uh, सिस्टम को क्रिएट करने के लिए और अगर किसी एक एनिमल को भी या स्पीशी को आप डिस्टर्ब करेंगे तो पूरा इको सिस्टम जो है वो इससे डिस्टर्ब हो जाएगा सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हम जो है uh, इंसान भी जो है वो एनिमल्स uh, uh, से और बायोडाइवर्सिटी से बहुत ज़्यादा फ़ायदा लेते हैं फ्राम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स वी मेक मेडिसिन कॉस्मेटिक्स परफ्यूम्स एंड देन वी गेट फूड फ्राम इट आप डिफरेंट तरह के फूड्स जो है सी फूड जो है वो आप इनसे हासिल करते हैं सो दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर इकोनॉमी एंड इंडस्ट्री सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर अवेल्यूएशन फॉर अवेल्यूएशन लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली एंड देन आंसर वॉट इज डाइवर्सिटी इन लाइफ 
the existence of plants and animals in different forms make the um, life on earth diverse and this is called biodiversity how biodiversity is essential for uh, life because in an ecosystem all the animals and plants they are interdependent so if you will disturb any one species or animal it performs a specific function over there so the whole ecosystem will be disturbed how biodiversity support industry and economy we get food cosmetics perfumes we make from them we get, make medicines from it and um, we uh, get different types of um, things other things from uh, um, uh, from this biodiversity okay my dear students now is the time for practice for practice what you can do is you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form bio teacher write down your name and your roll number and then start what is biodiversity define it you can take help from the book why divide sci why scientists divide organisms in different species why biodiversity is essential for sustenance of life how biodiversity supports industry and economy what is an ecosystem so my dear students scientists jo hai wo they divide the organism in different species to study them easily and why biodiversity is essential for the sustenance of life because every organism has a specific function to perform so that is why they are important for the sustenance of life on earth so uh, how biodiversity supports industry and economy they provide food perfumes medicines uh, fisheries to uh, to us that is why they are important so what is an ecosystem an ecosystem is the interconnection or the connection between the um, animals plants and their surroundings okay my dear students now is the time for homework for homework you will do uh, question number 6 from section b page number 23 define biodiversity so this is your homework you will do it in your notebooks then comes project 5 given on page number 14 construct a scrapbook of 20 plants and 20 animals label and classify and each collected plant and animals as you have studied above among your collection highlight the plants and animals you found find in you can find in pakistan so my dear students aap isko uh, ek scrapbook aapne banani hai make a uh, take some pages staple them and this is your scrapbook cover it with the talc paper or uske talc sheet after that you can get pictures aap net se bhi lekh sakte hain download kar sakte hain iske ilawa what you can do is you can get stickers from the market different plants ke aur animals ke aapko stickers milte hain you can paste them in your scrapbook okay aur uske baad aapne batana hai ki inme se kaun kaun se animals aur plants pakistan mein aapko milte hain so this was your homework so today we have learned that rich variety of life is biodiversity it may be variety in species and ecosystem there are varieties of species and every single species has many breeds with different characteristics biodiversity is essential for sustenance of life species are interdependent on each other in ecosystems biodiversity supports industry and economy like food medicine fisheries forests etc So my dear students I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture now you know about diversity of life keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz